Because that's going to manifest the nature of God. I am. So let's turn to, turn to John 8. And this is the, another incredible scripture that is just as incredible. And that is when Messiah is being asked... Eight fifty four. Yeshua, Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is nothing. Of whom you say he is our God, my Father glorifies me. And you have not come to know him, but I know him. And if I say I don't know him, I'll be a liar like you. I do know him, and I keep his word. Your father, Abraham, Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. So the Jewish people said to him, you aren't even 50 years old yet, and you have seen Abraham? And Yeshua answered them, truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. Wow. How do you do that? That's why you know the Bible is the word of God, because people don't come up with this. Therefore, they picked up stones. Well, they, they knew what he was saying. Before Abraham was, I am now. Now, he could have said, before Abraham was, I was, that would be awesome enough. He's saying, um, I was alive before Abraham, that's awesome enough. But he doesn't even say that. Before Abraham was, I am, that's not good English. And he wasn't even speaking English, and it's not good English. Before Abraham, but you know that, that's really cool. When the Bible does that, when the Bible makes a mistake, which it doesn't do, but when it, makes a, when it looks like a mistake, it's a sign that there's something going on that's, real, that's deeper and really awesome. For instance, the beginning, Birashit, bara Elohim, et hashamayim, et ha'aretz. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. But the word, as you know, for God is not singular, it's plural. Elohim, the word for created is not plural, but singular. It's mixing a singular with a plural, which doesn't, you don't even do that in English. A, a noun and a verb that doesn't match up, it's telling you something. That there's something amazing about God. He's more than you think he is. Elohim. And here it's telling you something, what it's doing, what's the mistake, which is not a mistake, but what is it? It is that it is mixing up the, the tense. You don't say that. Before Abraham, you're talking about the past. I am, you're talking about now. What's it telling you? Even that, what, he doesn't even say I was, God was. It's God is, I, I am. What is it? It's saying that God can never be relegated to the past. God doesn't live in the past. God said, I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And, they, but they are, and, and, and Messiah says, well, that means that they're still alive because God is not the God of the dead or the past. So to know God in the past is not enough. It doesn't matter if you've known God in the past. The only thing that matters is you know God now, I am. It's not enough to have known. It's not enough to have lived the life. It's what you do now. Because God is now. God is, I am. You have to know him as I am. It doesn't matter what you did even yesterday. It's God now. I am. So Paul could say, you know, all these things, but the one thing I want to know is I want to know God. You say, wait, Paul, you know him so much. You've known him your whole life. He said, it doesn't matter. I need to know him now. Meaning I have to learn of him now. I can never go on automatic in the Lord. You can never do that. You can never just say, okay, I've known it and I've heard it. You have to know, you have to have an encounter him now. Just like Moses had to encounter him now. It's not enough that he was. It's that he is. He is. You have to seek him. That's why all of us, no matter how much we know, no matter how much we've done, we have to seek him now, every day, now, this day, as much as any day. As if we just came to the Lord and we have to know everything we can about him. I am. That's what you have to know. You're right. See, and so in the same way, you can't be, I was, I did, that's fine, that's all great. Paul said, said, I did all this, but that's behind now. It's what I am. If you lived a perfect life and then you fall away from God, all that stuff means nothing. But if you mess up your whole life and now you know God, it means everything. So it doesn't matter what you were, it's what you are. You're a child of I am. You're a little I am. And so it, whatever you were, that's, that's fine, but it's what I am now. The Lord, the I am came into my life, and therefore everything's new. Because everything before I am doesn't exist anymore. I am. And so, you, so therefore, in the same way, it's every day. Now, a really cool thing about the name I am 
is this, that whenever you say who you are, you say your name, I am Mary, I am John, you have to first say his name. That's pretty cool. That is really cool. Before you say your name, you have to say his name. I am. So it's two names always. To say I am me, I am John. It's his name and then it's my name. That's so cool. Even when you try to abbreviate it, I am this, it's still I am. Even with the apostrophe, it's still I am. And even if you say I'm anything, I am going to the store, you have to say I am first. He's going with you. Everything. And whatever you are. I mean, whether you're, whether you're Jewish, whether you're Italian, whether you're Spanish, whether you're, the first thing is, I am. Before I am a woman, I am a man. Before you're anything, it's I am. That's more important. You know, whatever it is, I am. The mo meaning, all that you are comes from Him. You only exist because of Him. Through Him, the most important thing in your life is I am. You could not be if it wasn't for Him, I am. Even if you're old, you know, I'm old, I'm fat, it's I am, it's holy. There's holiness there. The, the most important thing isn't that you're old and fat, it's that I am is with you when you're old and fat. He's the first thing in your life. You can't, your identity starts with His identity. That's You were created in the image of I am. You were redeemed by the blood of I am. I mean, amazing. And you can see that in so many of the names of the Bible of God's people, and many of your names have I am in it anyway. You have, when, if you have that ya in it or the L in it, or, there's something there in many of your names. You already have it. But the point is, he's already there. What about when you're going through something really hard? I'm going, I'm going through a real crisis. I'm going through a battle. I'm going through a wilderness. Well, what did you say? You said, I am going through this. That means even when you go through it, I am is going through it with you. I am in trouble. Well, I am is with you in trouble, so you're okay. Whatever you're going through.